Peace, love, and happiness. Scavalad here. How you doing? I'm sending you some positive energy. So take it all, embrace it all, embody it all, and live the life that you want to live. Okay? Today I want to talk about suicide. It's a deep topic, right? But like suicidal thoughts, wanting to commit suicide, wanting to leave this body, I guess, right? So I'll start it off by saying I have been in that mentality a lot suicidal or not even like wanting to live it's just I don't want to live in a world that doesn't fit me I guess right so then when you think of that you got to realize oh well why don't I belong in this world because I'm not meant to be in that reality I'm meant to create something new I'm meant to like set a trend I'm meant to do something bigger than just this mundane, this boring. Yes, you have to do certain things like pay taxes, uh, pay expenses and bills, or whatever, right? You have to still have to do certain things that aren't the best or the most fun to do. But you can make the best out of those situations though too. But you're meant to do something bigger, something more bolder, something that isn't working in your reality at the moment though. Like for me, I was depressed since, and suicidal, since I was like, probably 17 18 suicidal on the most part and then when I started you know like smoking weed every day drinking alcohol a lot of a lot of the time trying to escape my reality trying to get and chase high highs like different highs trying to chase different people I wanted to die like I I, I used to walk by every single bridge I, I walked by I guess right after the bar if I was high drunk sober both whatever right I would want to jump off the bridge and end it but then I had something, like an inner knowing inside of me. I was like, no, this is going to pass. There is going to be something better in the future for me. I just got to hold on a little bit longer. And it's hard to be present in that moment of, no, I could just end it right here and not suffer. Or I could realize that this isn't permanent. Nothing's permanent. It's all temporary. It's all moving. Energy is always switching, adjusting, changing, adapting, right? And whether you learn from that or you don't, the universe is going to, teach you a lesson either way you just got to be aware of that lesson and it's hard in those moments when you're fucking uh, like crying putting out cigarettes on your hand I did that when you're like doing these certain things you want it to be over you want to feel that pain you don't want to feel the pain though at the same time it's like that paradox it's like you feed off that pain you don't want to feel that pain you want to feel love so what can you do about it to at least ease that little bit of pain right and that's what it was the alcohol the smoking for me i don't regret it because if i didn't do that maybe i wouldn't be alive if i was doing those things even though it made it worse yes i don't regret it because i learned from it and it led me to where i am now still not exactly where i want to be mentally right or physically or financially <laughs> spiritually every single way right but i could still be grateful that it's all happened to me i can be grateful for what i have well I'm out here in nature and gratitude helps with that right I wasn't grateful for shit before even though I said thank you I didn't actually practice gratitude every single day before I go to bed because then when I wake up grateful for I go to bed for everything that happened in the day and then when I wake up ah it's me again you know <laughs> and when it uh, comes to, like certain things to help with your mental health I guess right it's like you got to evaluate it yourself you can go and get like external help like talk to a therapist Doctor, eh, I kind of stay away from that. I was on prescription meds for too long. They don't work. You do your own self, though. You trust yourself, right? And when um, it came to, like, uh, being more aware of, like, what emotions I'm feeling, right? Meditation. I started meditating. That can help for sure. You can become more aware of, like, certain patterns that run your life, certain emotions, certain feelings that are running your life subconsciously, you make them conscious and you realize why you are feeling how you are feeling. And, uh, oh, hello. <laughs> How's it going? Good, how are you? Good, man. <laughs> and also the food. What food are you putting into your body? Are you eating nutritiously, eating healthy, enjoying the food that you're eating, putting in healthy foods, or are you just eating junk food all the time, eating that ice cream to take the pain away? I'm not saying there's nothing wrong with eating a little bit of ice cream here and there, but be conscious of what you're putting into your body because that's going to change your mood too, right? And the music. If you're putting on shitty rap music that is just like lowering your mood, lowering your energy because it's making you more depressed. Like I used to listen to Lil Peep, Juice World, uh, certain people and artists like that that are kind of there that they lower your, your mood. Especially if you're depressed and you're listening to depressing music, 
that's going to depress you even more. You know, it's going to kind of lower you. Be conscious of what you're consuming. When you're eating, you're drinking, you're watching. Like if you're reading books, that's good. If they're good books, right? And if you want to be doing these things that help you boost your mood, something you're passionate about. If you like coming out in nature, come out in nature. It'll boost your mood 100% if you like it. I mean, everyone should be out in nature, but certain people just like swimming, going for walks, climbing things, jumping over things, uh, reading books, playing music, listening to music, creating music. Whatever boosts your mood and whatever you're passionate about, it can help when you're in those mental health uh, downfalls. When you're feeling a little bit under the weather, a little bit sad, depressed, suicidal even, right? It's good to do something you like doing. Don't overwhelm yourself though. Don't like set the bar too high also when it's like, oh, I gotta, I wanna feel this happy. I gotta do this, 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 this. this. Slow, slow steps. Build that momentum with the small steps until you can create that upward momentum and start taking more action in your life, right? I was I was taking too much, I got overwhelmed. I gotta quit smoking cigarettes, quit smoking weed, quit drinking alcohol, start meditating, doing all these things. And it, I ended up going back to square one, going back to the beginning, drinking, smoke, you know? So take the small steps, the small actions that will lead to bigger actions, bigger rewards in your life, right? And talk to people. I've been through that too much where I don't talk to many people when I'm in those states because I don't want to like emotionally dump on everything on, on like my friends or family right or they don't understand I don't think that they understand so I'm not going to talk to anybody I'm just going to get in my head too much which it can be good and bad it can be good if you get in your head too much because then you can become aware of these certain patterns you can become aware of what's running you but also then you just get way in your head and you don't do shit you get analysis process you're analyzing everything in your life and not going anywhere and you're just making yourself dig in that hole subconsciously deeper and deeper I guess right but besides that uh, you know you best right I don't want anybody to feel those kind of feelings like the suicidal depress depressing feelings that I felt that people are feeling out there so do your best though take time in your life to focus on your mental health prioritize your mental health your inner peace your inner happiness your peace, love, and happiness before you try and do so much external. You still gotta do things. If you have to work, make money, survive, if you have to do certain things, do it. But also change your mindset around doing those things and focus more on yourself, right? It's not narcissistic. You can practice that self-love, self-acceptance, self-worth, gratitude, and all those things. That's what, that's my experience and that's how I hope I can help you, okay? So comment down below if you're dealing with something or DM me, hit me up, I'm here to help. With that being said, get out into nature. Peace! <laughs>